I just cannot wait to see your progression and everything. And I definitely just want to continue to see greatness. I think my favorite song, I just wrote it down. I want to say it was on, what is your project on iTunes? Uh, Take Life. Yes, so I remember it was one song, I would say Run It Back. Oh, what what was the that? what was the like creation of that song? I, I could tell y'all was having fun before y'all put that song down. Oh, that's so like that's typically that's how problem. how do you put together songs? Really? I I don't do a lot of features because I take fans, quite frankly. A lot of people don't want their fans in my bleachers. It's not that I don't do them, but I don't go looking for features. Yeah, exactly. If you ask me for a feature, I'm gonna kill you regardless. I'm gonna send you what you asked for. A stone sense in your stone feature, whatever. Him, it's like we don't ever try to make a song. Got um, uh, Rico Boss was there too. We were just chilling, probably just got no smoke, probably, and we just vibing, chilling. Like man, fuck it, throw on a beat. I didn't want to go first. That nigga always want to go first. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna follow up behind you, mm -hmm. and then it just kind of came to play. Okay. So y'all just really just was having fun and it just kind of happened. I can tell, like, I, I like music that doesn't seem forced. I like music that is just like, all right, we having fun, we doing what we love. Because it's what it's about, like, you basically love what you do. It's not about how much money you're going to make, how many followers. It's about the, the passion behind it. And I definitely say that you're very passionate. So since we're talking about Joy Rico, for some who may not know who Joy Rico is, you all are part of a collaboration or conglomeration titled Hula Game. Hula Game, we're not like goddamn... Not Migos, Outkast, we're not a group, we're a family, we're an organization. So it's, we solo artists, we just, we doing this together. Mm -hmm. Thank you for explaining that, I was going to ask you. I know we did interview Joy Rico before, and I wanted to see your opinion or your definition of Hula Gang. So, um, one question I definitely want to know is, who was the person that was like, Hula Gang? Like, where did that That come story, from? that, that, they, they had that figured out way before I came into the picture. Mm -hmm. Um, it was him. Rico Vibes and their and his brother um, Zantana. We call him his name Corbin. He got a bunch of names right now. I see whether he's just you know who you is, man. Yeah. He make he make a lot of our beats and stuff yeah. like that. Um, and they was just probably lit again, mm -hmm. just together. And they just probably like hooligans. And they just kind of be some oh, wild, yeah. some wild ignorant niggas. Not ignorant. I don't condone ignorance, but ignorant. Oh, you talk to the right group of people. We get ignorant. Okay, so some people may not like this question, but do you think that the avid use of social media could break an artist in, in a bad way? Very. Okay. Very. I don't I don't think you really per se speak on a lot, but I will say there has been a lot of tweets that in an artist world certain things are left better unsaid. Mm -hmm. So What's your take on like my social take, media? My take on that, not you when I say this, but it's a lot of times I know I'm I'm still new. I don't have a huge like Twitter following. A lot of the shit I tweet is for when I love these conversations. It's not so much the fact of me not caring, but I don't because I mean what one person does should never affect your day. Mm -hmm. Like you can't help that. Mm -hmm. If you upset by something I did, then you let yourself get upset. Very much true. So, Twitter, I remember I tweeted out, I was like, when Beyonce was pregnant with twins, I was like, Beyonce is not pregnant, she just fat. And it was like, it was like, bro, somebody take this man's phone. I was like, bro, it's just a joke. Yeah. It's just, it's mm -hmm. Twitter, it's, it's, it's a game, bro. Twitter, yeah. that's what we call it, black Twitter. It like, the black Twitter is all kind of Twitter. It's a joke, it's a game. You can, getting too caught up in your own words, when you like to renege and Take back what you said. That's when it becomes a problem. As a man, you gotta stand on anything you say. Yeah. You gotta have ambition. You gotta have drive behind anything you said, whether it's a joke, whatever the case may be. Mhm. Mm so I think when people want to go back on their words, that's when it becomes a problem. Okay. Or or when people come at you, you usually end up explaining yourself, and they ain't trying to hear your explanation because it's your explanation. Mhm. Mm what's un what's what's understood doesn't need to be explained. Right. So. Well, let's just go ahead and jump into performances. So, you said off air you were basically talking about how you're not really nervous when you perform and everything. So, what's your thought process before you go on that stage, before you hit the stage? I'm about to fuck it up. Okay. I'm about to fuck it up. Tear it up. So, what's your definition of tear it up and fuck it up? Kill it, man. I, I feel like I don't ever perform the same songs. Every time I perform something, this fire. It's heat. I'm, I'm live. I'm energetic. To me, I'm not really like a people person, so you're never going to be like, hey, yo. 
surround me, let's get lit. A lot of my songs are really bad the fuck out. I'm either talking about me, some personal job, some job like that. I don't really have a, we got to jump around and get stupid songs. That's not, that's not uh. Mm -hmm. So I do get, I don't be nervous, but it's like, all right, I'm getting, look, I'm, I'm getting next. I'm getting close up. So I would like take the saw, I go to that little hallway back there in the place and I'll, I'll listen to it once or twice. And then once the music hit, that's all I remember. Okay, dope. Well, I enjoy your performances. And like I said before, I feel like some people you have to, they have to warm up to you. And I think that's still a plus. People don't like the way that I carry myself in a way they, people say I'm a thug, people think I'm, I'm ignorant, people think I'm brash, just that and third. How? Mm -hmm. I don't, sometimes I walk in a room, I have a, a scowl on my face. That means back up, bro. I'm not interested in talking. I'm not interested in communicating. If I know you, if I rock with you, when I see you, people I know there, it's what's up, it's love. If you're some stranger, bro, that's different. You a fan? I love a fan. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to sign an autograph. That's amazing. I, I can't wait for shit like that. So, as an artist, I think that there needs to be a separation of I don't know you and I don't rock with this person, I don't rock with that person because in that same breath, you want to be respected or you want to be welcomed yeah. in every environment. Respect. So, not it. saying that you're being disrespectful. I think that, and I see this a lot of times, and I'm, I would say for me, I'm, people know me as, oh, she's a publicist, or they know me as, oh, she does a lot of events and all that stuff, and I do need my own downtime. So, in that same yeah. breath, I, I can't you know walk that. around like, I don't know you, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I feel like some artists need to kind of realize that, stop looking at who you are right now and look at yourself, who you're going to be, because people don't forget things. So, if someone walks past you, you may not know, they probably purchased all of your music, yeah, and you don't know them. Up, yeah, and this is like, in that same breath, it's like, be aware of, you don't know who you're around. I understand, you know, we are really kind of like, I'm not as social as I could be. I don't know this person, I'm walking that person. Me. And that's okay, I don't think you should. But I think that, and I'm not just speaking on you, I'm just speaking in general with artists. It really needs to come down to a, a, a thin line of, you are an artist, you are an entertainer. Yeah, you are going to have to shake hands and kiss babies. You are going to have to Gotta speak. Rub that exactly. You know, so I think that that should be something. Because I see a lot of people like, oh, I don't fuck with this person. I don't rock with that. I don't. People don't have to rock with you either. No, I keep it cordial. Yeah. Keep it cordial. I, I, I'm going to respect you as long as you respect me. Mm -hmm. Like you said, being an artist and this, that, and third, and like the fans, it's ways around everything. Mm -hmm. You can be my, my day one. Don't run up in my face, you talking, and you spitting and shit like that, because I'm going to check you. Be like, you'll back up. Depending on what our relationship is, is depending on how you get checked. Mm -hmm. If you just that in the closing, you excited. I feel as though, all right, now I'm being assaulted. Now you up in my zone. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm going I'm to move you. <laughs> it's not the fact that I disrespect people or like not trying to be disrespectful, but it's a it's just ways to do everything. Yeah. Don't just come up me with all that. Match the same energy. If yeah. I'm sure, hey, what's good? What's good? If you know our relationship, then it's love. That's exactly what it is. Match that same energy. Shake relationship. my hand sometimes. You gotta dap a nigga up. Like, calm that shit down sometimes. Not to like put you in a box or label you, but if you could describe yourself to people who don't know you, um, using one word, what word would that be? Can I, can I say two things? Go ahead. Uh, this one thing I'm going to say, just because my new single out, something amazing, I would describe myself as amazing. You should check that out. Um, it's only on Spotify right now. I'm waiting for that to drop. That I would say, it's funny that you said, my my homie fan, he was like, he called me one day, he called me, uh, he called me unorthodox. Like, unorthodox flow, unorthodox everything. Mm -hmm. So now he runs with that. So now I run with that. Yo. I'm I on, could definitely see that. I'm unorthodox. Every time you see me at the show, sock game, be on point. Uh, that's it. My nigga, sock game, be on point. You always catch me in the jog and I can keep it simple. See me in the hoodie. I was with the hoodie before a boogie. I'm going to keep it a stack.